Colmas LED Co is part of the digital lighting revolution where LED light sources are replacing traditional lamps on stage and in studio. The benefits are obvious with massive power savings, no lamp replacement and best of all, almost no heat. LEDCO has Profile, PC and Fresnel lens options and comes with three different lamp modules depending on whether you want colour mixing and or variable colour temperature. The light output is said to equal a 650 watt conventional light. Cost is expected to be around $3,000 in Australia. Cole, what's your perspective? I think this is now the third step in the chain of theatre lanterns. We went from big, bulky, beasty, 1,000 watt tungsten lamps to the new generation where a 650 was an equivalent, and now we come to a, a lamp that's light, bright, and no power. I mean, for me as a venue operations manager, my power bill is going to reduce, not just because of that. It's all the, the on things. The air conditioning is going to run cooler, uh, so I don't have to use as much power for that. I'm not going to use water. It's great. I like very much that I can be doing this. With it on. This this is on, yeah. Yeah, this is on. <laughs> I, I right like now. Your suit. Look, um, can you get an old one and do it? I want to see the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. But I can get an old one if you'd like to try. No, no, no. Um the, some some really cool things about this, it it will accept the, the standard ETC source four lens tube. So you can you can stick your existing lenses on it, which is very nice for people who have already invested a lot of money so it's not like you're throwing the baby out with the bathwater yep. per se you're just replacing the actual light source if you sort of were to adopt this um another another cool point here is on the back um it's got power con in and through and you can cascade up to i think eight of these at 240 volts um off a single 10 amp run I mean, so the that's front of great. house, and this is where it would work really well, front of house and booms and stuff, you're not looking at a great patch panel somewhere, huge dimmers. So dimmer manufacturers have got to start thinking about options of, of a way to, to get other control systems in place and not dimmers. Pete, what do you reckon? It's a rather long way from the pattern 23s I started on. <laughs> um, it certainly would lend itself to being rigged in places where access is difficult or uneconomic or unsafe. That's a great point. Um, but towards that, I'd be looking at having something that is pole operated for adjustment, like in a TV studio, or a version that had some servos for uh, focusing and panning and tilting and adjusting the, the shutters. The benefits for OH&S are phenomenal, not to mention the cost savings over seven years of not replacing lamps, not having to send somebody up a ladder or on a height device to change a lamp. What's the, what's the mains input requirement? How, what does it take? What does it draw? Ah, oh, 820 milliamps. Which is, what's that in watts? Piss all. Yeah. I reckon I could probably, you know, focus this after it had been on for 10 hours and it's not going to get upset. I mean, it's robust. If it gets knocked into another I mean, fixture. It's designed to integrate, so, you know, maybe you've got 100 profiles, you don't want to replace them all at once, it's fair, you know, it's yeah. a lot of money. Maybe you just start with 20 or something, but they're going to integrate. Ten years of future usage, power bills, and OH&S considerations, three thousand dollars. You do the cost-benefit analysis. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, it's the old thing. It's not just the price; it's the cost. The cost of operating this for a long term in a venue. You put a few hundred of these in, and it's going to cost you to start. But the, the value is going to be tremendous. There's, there is going to be a, a golden era for the next five years where traditional luminaires almost become obsolete through OH&S concerns. Yeah. You know, oh, the, the, and then it's going to be a really, you watch the manufacturers pushing that angle and you're going to see literally 50,000 of these things, things like this across this country in the next five to 10 years. Technicians don't run theatres anymore. They're run by accountants. Hmm. If, you, if I can show to the accountant that this unit's going to cost me a certain amount of setup time, but in a year, the electricity I'm going to save is going to pay for it. I'm going to get them. Sold. I wouldn't want to be a colour gel manufacturer. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be good for uh, carbon credits and carbon tax oh, and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you, Both I mean, ends. Power yeah. consumption and heat. Yeah. yeah. It's funny actually. There was there's one of the Sydney community based venues um, actually started up with the idea of being entirely based on the LED lighting, and, and they they tried initially, but just sort of the, the LED wasn't good enough at the time. 
to give them the kick so they've got some tungsten stuff in. With stuff like this, they can get there. Yeah. yeah. It's the next step. Yeah. The next step. 